Hello viewers, welcome back to this course. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to add and subtract dates in Excel. Now that we understand that Excel stores date and time as serial numbers, you will see how logical it is to perform mass operation on these values. We will look at some simple examples here and tackle the more complex scenarios later when we look at date and time functions. When you are adding a number to a date, it is actually adding it as a day. For example, when you add 10 to this date, and when you add this 10 to this date, it is going to add the 10 into the days of the date. In this first date here, I'm having 10th of January. When you add 10 to it, it is going to add this 10 to the day, that is the 10. So it is going to be 20th of January. That is the result we have here. Likewise, you can also subtract days from the date. Okay, for example, in the second date here, so I have 10th of January. When I subtract 10 from the 10th of January, it is going to subtract it backward. That means it is going to return 31st of December. 2023 because here is 10th of January 2024 and when you subtract 10 from the date it is going to subtract it from the day which is 10th. The 10th of January minus 10 is going to give you 31st of December 2023 and that is exactly what we have here. Likewise you can also subtract date from one another. That is when you have a start date and end date, you can subtract a start date from the end date. It is going to give you the result in days. For example, you can see I have the start date for the first one here is 1st of January 2024 and the end date is 30th of January 2024. If I subtract the start date from the end date, which means that it is going to subtract it from the day. It is equal as saying 30, which is the number of days subtract 1, which is 1st day of January, which is 1st of January. When you subtract 1 from 30, it is going to give you the result of 29. Okay, simply means that 30 days minus 1 day, which is here, will give you 29. That is the result we are getting. Okay, so when you subtract a date from a date, it, it is going to return the number of days between the two dates. You can see from the second example, I have 1st of January 2024 and I have 3rd of January 2024. When I subtract this date from this date, it is going to return 2. What is happening behind the scene is that it is subtracting the 1st of January from the 3rd of January, which is going to give me 2 days, okay? So it simply means that 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. That is actually what is happening behind the scene. For you to understand all these logics better, let's jump into Excel so that we can perform the practical aspect. I open Excel. I have some data we are going to practice with, but before then, let me show you the demonstration here. I have this date, you can see 10th of January 2024. Let me add this 10 to it and see what is going to return. I select the cell, I type equals to, I select the cell that contains the date. So I'm going to add plus, then the cell that contains the dates that I want to add to it. In my own case is this cell. Let me press enter. Do you see it returned 20th of January 2024? It means that this 10 is added to the number of days which increment the number of days to 20. Because we have 10th of January here, we added 10 to it and it returned 20th of January. Likewise, if I do subtraction, let's see what we are going to have. I select this cell, I type equals to, I select this cell that contains the second date. I add this cell that contains the second date. Then let me press enter. Okay, remember when you have 10th of January and you subtract 10 from 10th of January, it is moving backward. That means uh, it is going to get 31st of December 2023. That is how it works behind the scene. So if you want to see the formula, you can display the formula here. Let me show you the formula. Select this cell. I'm going to use formula text to display the formula. This is the formula, okay. I'm using add here because 
you can see here I have minus okay just using simple arithmetic operators it is subtracting this 10 from this uh, date here okay let us show the serial number I select this cell let me just output the cell that contains the result select this cell press enter it is showing the date let me change it to general format let's change it to general format it is now showing the serial number let me also do the same thing for this one you can just use uh, auto fill like this fill without formatting here we have it as the serial number of this date we can also subtract date from one another that means you can subtract a date from another date have end date and start date you can subtract the start date from the end date and it is going to return the result in days okay when you subtract a date from another date it is going to give you the number of days between the two dates okay so let me select this cell that is going to contain the result i type equals to i select the end date so this is the cell that contain the end date let me subtract the start date let me press enter now do you see it returned 15 here this is 20th of january 2024 that is the end date and we subtracted 5th of january 2024 that is it is subtracting the day of the start date from the day of the end date that's why it returned 15 that is 20 minus 5 give us 15 it is actually returning the days between the two dates let's go for the second one let me just use the auto fill like this here we have it let me fill without formatting so that it will retain the original format you can see that from this one it is subtracted one from three the end date is 3rd of january 2024 and we have the start date 1st of january 2024 so when it subtracted the start date from the end date to return to it can also return a negative value just like what we saw in the explanation for example if the start date is greater than the end date it is going to return a negative day okay for example if i change the number of day of this start date let me change it to 10 that is 10th of january 2024 let me press enter now do you see it return minus 7 that means it returned a negative value because we are subtracting the higher date from the smaller date that's why it returned a negative value okay that is the value between this uh, start date and the end date is minus seven so as you can see it here let me quickly show you the formula select this cell i type equals to formula text then i select the cell that contain our result close the function and press enter so this is the formula let me use the auto fill to get order like this here we have it let me fill it without formatting this is the formula here we are doing subtraction with these examples let us work with the data i have here i'm going to add or subtract days from the dates we have here i have the date here i have the number of days that i want to add or subtract from the date let me select the cell that is going to contain the result i type equals to i select the date i'm going to add i type plus then the number of days i want to add i select it press enter do you see it here half first of january 2024 i'm adding 10 days you can see now by adding 10 days to the first of january 2024 i have 11th of january 2024 let me use the auto field to get the others like this here we have it let me fill it without formatting here we have it you can see this one that have negative here we have 20th of february 2024 we subtracted 5 from it and here we have 15th of february 2024 you can see this date here first of january 2024 we added 365 days to it and it returned the last day of 2024 which is 31st of december 2024 this is because we added 365 days to this 1st of january 2024 so it returned the last day of the year 
can also see this one, 1st of January 2024, we added 30 days, it will return 31st of January 2024. What if I add 60 days, let me change this 30 to 60, that means I'm adding 60 days to 1st of January 2024, let's see what it is going to return. Do you see that it returned first of March 2024? Okay, because first of January we added 60 days to it and it returned first of March 2024. Let me show you the serial number. I select this cell, I type equals to, I just select the cell that contains our result and press enter. So it returned the date. So to change it to serial number, I need to format this cell as a general. So I select it and go to the number format and change the date to general. Here is the serial number. I can use the auto field to get the others like this. Here we have their serial numbers. The serial number of the result, that is what I'm having here. So I'm going to select fill without formatting so that it will retain the formatting I already apply here. Let us see this session subtracting date from one another. Okay, so which we have done it here. So let's quickly get the result of this one. That is we are going to subtract the start date from the end date. Let me select the cell. Remember, it is going to return the number of days between the two dates, okay? So, I select this cell, let me type equals to, I select the end date, then I type minus, I select the start date, I press enter, do you see it return the number of days between the two dates? Then, I can use the auto fill now to get the rest like this. Here we have it, let me fill it without formatting, this is it. Then you can see that it is returning the number of days between the two dates, okay? The second date I have here, you can see the, the start date is 1st of January 2024. I'm subtracting the 1st of January 2024 from 3rd of January 2024 and it returned 2. That is 2 days. You can see this one, the end date is 31st of December 2024. That means the last day of 2024. So when I subtract 1st of January 2024 from it, so it returned 365 days. So that is exactly what I have here. Behind the scene, it is actually performing the calculation in days. So you can see that when I subtract 1st of January 2024 from 31st of December 2024, the days between these two dates is 365 days. That is exactly what it returned here. You can see this one returned minus 365 days. This is because the start date is greater than the end date. That's why it returned negative. Here we subtracted 1st of January 2024 from 1st of January 2023 and it returned minus 365 days, okay? So let me quickly show you the formula here. I select this cell, I type equals to formula text. I select the cell that contain our result. Close the formula and press enter. Here we have it, you can see we, we are doing subtraction. Then I can use the auto fit to get the rest. Here we have it, fill it without formatting. Here we have it. Let me also get the formula of the this one we did here. I select this cell, type equals to formula text. I select the cell that contain our result. Close it and press enter. You can see the formula. Let me use the auto fill to get the rest. Here we have it. Let me fill without formatting so that it will retain the formatting I have already. Here we have it, okay. I hope with these examples and illustration, you can be able to add or subtract dates from dates and also be able to subtract dates from one another. Thank you for watching this section.